Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jasmine. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, or you might not, you may have just clicked on it. I am about to head to Europe and I've never been to Europe before. So this is very exciting. I feel like I've been just from all the photos I've seen and how incredible it looks. And this is something I've been wanting to do my entire life. So I'm so grateful that I can say that I'm about to head to Europe. I thought that we could have a go at filling this massive suitcase together because I have 30 kilos of luggage. I'm gonna be using every kilo of that because I have a lot of clothes. I went to Kmart yesterday and I bought this. I did have packing cubes that unfortunately got lost when I moved into this apartment. So I bought some more. And this also came with little bits and bobs that you can use to fill your lotions and stuff with. I thought that was really quite handy actually. This video I'll probably combine into a little bit of a get ready with me for going overseas as well because I'm gonna go get my nails done tomorrow. I'm gonna get my hair done. Just all the travel prep that us girlies or some of us like to do. Put some new tan on. I've started fake tanning again which has been nice. I also don't leave until Wednesday and today is Friday but I have work tomorrow. Oh, he's gone. I have work tomorrow, which is Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're a little bit busy. I thought the best way to alleviate that stress would probably be to be packed and be ready and be organized. And that's what we're doing. It looks like my wardrobe is a little bit barren. It's just because I was emptying it out. We have Liam's family coming to, or his brother coming to stay here. And I want to clean out my cupboard for him and his girlfriend so that they can put some of their own clothes up in it, not just be full of all my stuff. So I've taken some of the stuff off that side and I'm gonna pop it in my car. That's actually quite handy, isn't it? I don't think I would need all of these. Maybe we can have some too. And the rest are all packing cubes. From the moment I found out I was going to Europe, which was probably nearly two months ago, I think now, I was slowly starting to build up my wardrobe for pieces that I knew I would like to wear in Europe, but not just in Europe, also when I'm in Australia, because we don't want to just be wearing them one time. But I don't have everything here. This is actually just normal stuff in my cupboard as well. Flying into London, and we're doing a couple of days there, and then we're doing Paris for five or six days, seven days in Florence and Tuscany, and then three days in Rome. All up, we're gone for three weeks though. So that all equates to three weeks. I was picturing very European summer, but they're still in spring. They're going into summer, but the weather is still a little bit nippy some days, which is completely fine. I'm not a cold girly, but it's, I think it will be pleasant. I actually have no idea though. I'm hoping it will be, but little things like this, I can take a nice trench coat. It's not actually that heavy. Well, not as heavy as what you would think. I'm not gonna try on everything just because there's so many things I wanna take with me, but I'll show you some little bits and pieces that I'm going to pop together. And what I also want to do, which I've seen people do on TikTok that I loved, is I've never done this before for a trip either, but for some reason, because we're going to Paris, because we're going to London, I just feel the urge to really try with my outfits. And it's not that I never don't not try, but I'm I'm gonna put in a bit of effort and I wanna try on some outfits and then take a photo and have you seen the thing where you can pop into your notes? I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because I was showing my friend before, she was just over. Okay, so that's like a big version. So what I am thinking of doing is going on and taking like a little mirror selfie and then using it as a sticker and putting it into my notes because that way I'll be organized for what outfits I'm gonna wear what days, if that makes sense. You like this and you hold it down, it gives you the option to add it as a sticker. And then you can paste that into your notes app. I saw that on TikTok. I'm gonna start off with a few London outfits. That's our first destination. I'll try these things on after, but this is a nice long sleeve knit and then this beautiful scarf. I'll give you the full effect in a moment, but these are both from Cotton On. I don't know if I'll list where everything is from in this video because there's just so many things, but just straight up, these things are both from Cotton On. I got them the other day. And then the jeans that I have on, these are my new jeans from Rollers. And I've never owned a pair of denim from them before, but they're just the most gorgeous, flattering jeans that I think I've ever owned or put on my body. And I'm really quite happy with them. I've got little bows too that I can put in my hair that will look cute. I also have these two cardigans. This cardigan is a lot more red. It's showing up range. And I've got my Samba. No, I've got my Gazelles. I got a pair of beige Gazelles. I'll go get them. I actually have no idea where I put them because I was just wearing them earlier today. I have, well, this badge, but also bomber jacket I think will look nice and it's very warm so I think that will be good for London too but don't you guys worry I'm going to be trying these on I'm just having a little think about what's in my wardrobe with you right now to work out what we're going to take I won't be taking any coats like this I think that's a little bit heavy and I was tossing up between taking a blazer or not I just only own two color blazers and I really don't think black is my color so I don't know if I want to take a black blazer with me even though it's probably something I could wear in Paris I'm not sure. We'll leave the blazer if we've got room in my bag. Maybe I'll take it because I do associate blazers with a Paris look. And it would look especially cute 
little bow. That would be quite sweet. We'd probably pair it with some sort of little white top, maybe not this one, but a little white singlet or long sleeve. I guess it depends how cold it is. When I checked today, it was it was 15 degrees and it was 18 degrees on my walk this morning. And I was so cold, I wanted to go back to my car. That's the Australian in me that's used to living on the Gold Coast and not being in colder climates, especially cities. I feel like the wind tunnels get really quite cold there and it always feels freezing with the wind. My biggest problem is when I wear a scarf, do you let your hair go at the back like that or do you pull it out? But I like this outfit. It's giving looking around Hyde Park, going to Notting Hill potentially. It's giving lots of things. Again, we've got this sweater which looks very bright on camera. I'm just going to be wearing my jeans in London. They're very comfortable. Let's try a different cardigan. I've also got this plain white top that I was actually going to wear on the plane. It's just from Kmart. I got it yesterday. It's from the activewear section, hence the holy bits. I don't know. I think it's the shoes again. I like this part of the outfit, but it's very basic and it won't be warm enough. Maybe with this. Outfit two. I don't think I'm going to take you guys along for every single outfit just because one, I want you to have some surprises and two, that will be here for a very long time. <laughs> it's still quite warm outside and cool. we don't need all those layers on. Let's add that. Okay, day two done. I'm happy I'm organizing this now though because I don't want that stress on the day. This top is something I can see myself wearing in both France and Italy. I think the way I would style this in France would be with jeans and then in Italy I have a little pair of white like dressy shorts I guess you would call them and I think I would dress them with that. Looking just a simple white bag. I've got the same shoes on and we'll do the trench coat again. I could actually go the red bag or I could do the white or I could do the bags are really quite light. There's not a lot to them. If I have like three or four to pick from, I think that'll really elevate my outfits. Plus, I just found my gazelles. This is them. They were hiding at the very bottom of my cupboard. Let's have this bag. Think about that later. But this is a really great outfit as well. If I had to take one thing away from this, it would definitely be that investing in a really good pair of jeans and a really nice cardigan, I think is the best bet to have a lot of different outfit options. But yeah, I don't know what else to pair this with besides jeans. I'll show you guys one more outfit. I'll do a Tuscany one. Okay, before I do Tuscany, let's try on this outfit because I have no idea if this will look cute. See how the colors are a little bit different? I like this outfit. I think what threw me off at first is the fact that this cream doesn't match with the whites everywhere, but I actually, I think it's fine. It works and I've got my little ballet flats on. This dress is probably the one I'm most excited for for Italy. This dress has little holes in the back that I think you tie these through. But as you can see there, that's kind of what I'm referring to. I just feel really pretty in this. Yellow is my color. I love just really loose flowy dresses like this and it's just screaming. Tuscany. I want to show you this mask. I picked this up for the plane and also just life in general. I started sleeping on this side of my face and all my lashes have been falling out, even though I use a silk pillowcase. But I thought this would admit that issue. Everything's really dark. It's padded. It's comfortable. It was just from Kmart. <laughs> I feel like everything is from Kmart. Okay, I'm about to pack my suitcase. I'm firstly just going to see how many of these things we've got happening. So the way that I did it when I went to Bali was I did tops, pants, all that stuff. I found that organizing my clothes as well and what outfits I want to wear each day really helped me realize what I wanted to pack with me because I quickly realized that I actually don't need... A gazillion tops and I won't be wearing absolutely everything so I've kind of culled even though it might seem like I didn't here but the, that's the dresses for now we can do that off my camera battery is unfortunately flashing at me right now Anyway, this isn't the dress I had in mind, but I definitely want to take this one. I just need to wash it, so I'm going to go in the washing pile. And I found these pants as well that I really like on me, so we're going to pack those. The dress that I had in mind, I must have already popped in the car, so I'll have to grab that out. But it's just a beautiful, long, strapless, white linen dress. And we'll come back and we'll pack like my travel on and these together. That dress I just put on the floor is actually really heavy, so... That's why I wasn't originally packing it, but I think I'm going to be fine 
with luggage, honestly. Could be a little bit delirious right now. This is like my little carry-on thing, so that can go here. And now jumpers. So we've got this black blazer. The jackets, I think next time I do this, I'm going to use this size one for the jackets because there's literally only three in here and I think I can squeeze them in for this size. This little cardigan will fit in there too. This trench coat I've had for years too and I love it so much. We'll see how we go putting that in there. Hello guys, today is Wednesday which is crazy. I think we last spoke on Saturday. I've just been so crazy busy with my other job but it's happening and we're packing up everything. I decided to, well, I packed my clothes and then realized that I actually wanted to wear things that were in my suitcase. That's what's happening here. But I actually need to go like right now <laughs> because I don't want to be late for my hair appointment and my hair is very greasy. I didn't want to wash it because I knew I was getting it done today. But I actually want to put this on. Let's run out. I've got it in my mat ready to go. And let's do it. I'm back home from my hair appointment. I'm so happy. I ended up deciding to take a little bit of length off it. I don't know if you can tell. I didn't take it before of my hair, did I? But this is the after. I feel like this is this is probably the shortest I've had my hair in a little while. This is where we're currently up to in the packing. I just filmed a little reel for my Instagram and TikTok, but I feel like I'm trying to do a million little things at once. And I really should just be focusing on one thing at a time. Let's move this out here. I think my game plan now is it's 3.30. We have to leave. I have to leave my house by 7.30. So we've got four hours. By the way, this is a skort. Um, oh my gosh, why does this keep falling over? But they're not my undies. That is a skort that I've got on right now. I got one of these from Kmart the other day. It was in the packing cube set that I got. So we're going to fill this up with a few different things. One of them will be this lotion because I faked hand. I'm not sure if you can tell. I feel like I look actually... I feel like you can tell because every time I look at that I look a little bit orange but I faked hand this morning and I'm in real life it actually looks fine I think I'm gonna be packing some of this to help my tan last longer my toner because this stuff just keeps my skin so beautiful and then I'm also going to be packing this is this called summer skin I actually think one of these will be fine if I fill it up properly because I use about one pump on my face at a time. I actually think that should be enough and then if we run out I guess we can just grab some but I really really like this moisturizer so I want to take it with me. And then for the toner we'll put this in as well. This bottle of toner has lost me years and I use it every day like I go through phases of using it and not using it but lately like for the past couple of months I've been using that every day. Right on my Dyson air wrap, that's okay. That was really satisfying. I'm gonna do two of these ones because I don't wanna run out of that. But I just can't believe we're flying to Europe tonight. That's just so, so crazy. And so exciting and just doesn't even feel real. I think because I've had such big days as well leading up to this, I still haven't completely switched off and kind of thought about it much further. I used to get really bad OCD as well when I was a child and looking back now that's what we can recognize it was. It was when I would be leaving because my parents were split it was or are still split. It was when I was leaving like my mom's house or my dad's house. I would have to touch the door handles a certain amount of times and it would get really stressful. And, oh, I didn't know these came in different sizes. Yeah it's something that I struggled with for quite a few years. I don't have that anymore but I really struggled with change and being in new environments. Now as I've gotten older I actually find that my OCD calms down a lot when I'm traveling and it actually I feel a sense of calm and my psychologist was chatting to me about this because she thought that she didn't think but she commonly experiences her clients have more flared OCD symptoms when they're traveling because they're not in control but I don't know why, but when I'm traveling is when I feel the most relaxed. Like I don't have the chance to be in a routine and I just, I, I need to think about it a bit further because I'm not sure why else other than that. But personally, like I get really stressed leading up to it and I've, my OCD has definitely been flaring up the past couple of, well, the past week or so. But in terms of when I'm traveling, it's actually fine. It's just lead up and I definitely am a very organized person 
I put a lot of pressure on myself for trips as well before I leave in terms of what I want to get done. And I think I put a little bit too much on my plate. But the reality is, is that we'll be back here in three weeks. I'm not leaving forever and I don't have to have everything so perfect. In saying that, I did obviously plan out my outfits, for example, every day and do little things like that. Um, in my head, I think that that takes the stress off me while I'm traveling because I don't have to think about those things. But I'm not sure. Anyway, this is good. I don't know if I need anything else. I'm going to go look in my bathroom drawer and let's work it out. I'm going to use the rest of this in here. I don't know how much of this serum is left actually. The Emco Beauty Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C Serum. I use this all the time. There's actually not really any left at all. At least that's an empties bottle. I really like finishing things. That makes me very happy. I think that's all I need actually in terms of skincare and stuff. I have little makeup remover wipes and cotton pads that I use to get my makeup off. If I seem a little bit flat, it's just because, like I said, my OCD has been flared up the past couple of days or week or so, and I've not been sleeping the best. I've also been really busy with my second job, all that stuff, and just preparing a holiday so if any of that energy is coming off on the camera i'm very sorry and i hope it, i hope it isn't but i'm just a little bit tired and i get stressed as well before we get on the plane so that's just what's happening in my little brain <laughs> but that's the reality of traveling when you have ocd as well or any i guess sort of mental health um but like i said i feel really grateful that once i'm there it's good vibes it's just a lead up for it <laughs> golly gosh but Theodore and I are going to end this video off here though and the next time you see me I'll be probably on the train or at the airport because we're leaving here in like half an hour to catch the train up to Brisbane. Yay Theodore! Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. I feel like it was slightly chaotic in the sense that it was a little bit all over the place but that was kind of the reality of getting ready this trip. I don't know if I ever showed you guys my nails properly as well. Gosh. That's what I ended up going with and I have the same on my toes. They look really really nice. Um, but yes, that's the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you when I'm on the way to London.